Hello everyone, I'm Chinese Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here in Kaiserreich playing, of course, as Jing China, using Wang Huai Ching as our field marshal. He's a great supply consumption expert and overall great general. But anyways, um, well, this is the world right now. Jing China, we're looking great. You know what I love about Mongolia, though? That they're almost completely surround surrounded by a sea of blue. Truly beautiful. But anyways, let's talk about the world. The American Union seat. Well, looks like they got encircled up there or something. Uh, they're killing off the Entente in Canada. Even though New England is kind of beating them in the northeast. Regardless, oh, they've also taken out a little portion of Mexico. Uh, the Third International is not doing very well. So you think that all this brown, is, this purplish-brownish color, is the Third International. But wait, hold on, what's that? That is a further slightly... Darker shade of brown down here with the Entente. The Third International is collapsing in continental Europe. At the end of the last episode, the Commune of France fell. Finally, it took them like nine years to fall. You are a happy fellow. Hello, Juan the Third. Anyways, um, so the Third International is still trying to fight the Russians, which is unfortunate, which we're also fighting, which is good, as well as the Russian puppets. Czechia. Czechia is also pretty large. Italy is about to fall, probably. Union of Britain is still struggling against Ireland. Africa, well, it's a mess. I so don't really need to talk about that. And then, here we are. Also, we do have the Cairo Pact. Um, let's see. They are fighting Ethiopia, which has no manpower. But then again, Egypt has is on scraping the barrel with a lot of manpower. So, But that is one big Cairo Pact with Egypt. Is this Libya? With Libya, the... Saudis, the Iranians, as well as Kurdistan. Now, it's weird when you see Iran, Saudi Arabia, and Egypt all working together with the Kurds to get rid of Ethiopians. That's a little weird, and that's okay with me. But anyways, so, right now, I decided to start recording this just because, well, let's take a quick look at all the Russian divisions. There's not a ton of divisions up here, surprisingly, and... For a lot of these divisions, they're missing equipment or manpower or something. Uh, oh, they're missing manpower. That's good. Okrana. Hmm. I don't want to attack crazily. So give me like two days. Well, give me two days and then we'll all do like a bunch of major attacks. Well, I already told them to attack. But I want to go crazy. Three, two, one. Go right ahead. Everyone attack. Attack across the entire front line. We might not be super successful in some places, like down here. But overall, just make sure that they know that we are going to continue, like, reducing the amount of guys they have. Oh, I'm out of guns. Maybe don't attack super hard then. Just keep it for now. Keep going with what you're doing for now. It's going okay. But... Oh, you're actually winning down there. Nice. That's really good. Just a small little push. Just a small, gentle, little... Push. Good, good. And we're still bombing the Japanese fleet. We're out of guns, which is really quite unfortunate. We're out of naval bombers, too. Uh, for now, go ahead and hold. We don't have any spare planes to really let everyone go. You guys split and hold. You guys split and hold as well. You guys hold. And send half of you guys over here to help cover this area. I don't want to send too many naval bombers over there, and we don't have the means to do that well. Fighters, fighters, Siam, you come up here to help those guys out. We have some more tactical bombers to help out over here. Uh, who are you? You are tactical bombers? Good. Send you up north. We need you up north, guys. Uh, you two fighters come to the north as well. Guard those planes. And then you guys guard over here, because why not? 400 more planes, 400 more tactical bombers, nice. Throw you over here. Good, that, that's actually pretty good. Let's keep it like that then. Sounds like we're getting navally invaded. Go ahead and hold for now. Split you in half. Good. And we're immediately getting attacked. We're losing a battle, which isn't ideal. Don't let them across, no matter what happens. Fuel refining, that's very good for more fuel. Fighter Veteran Initiative. Let's get even more fuel next. We could use way more aluminum. Uh, Germany, I can't get any more. Indian Empire, give me what I need. Norwegian Union, 
No, I don't want convoys to get sunk. Yeah. That's unfortunate. We got plenty of rubber, though. That's kind of nice. Um, yeah, we don't need to get any more rubber in the current moment. Better radar. That could help. That could actually really, really help. And then we'll integrate Gansu Province. Very nice. We must make sure that we have enough guns and support equipment. Forgot about that. Uh, joined here with a good cup of Southeast Asian coffee. Very tasty. You guys are going to help guard the line down here wherever, you know, enemies are at. So, actually do that. Republic of Japan. Oh, Empire. They're not a Republic. They're, it's, it's an Empire. Stay down here in Southeast Asia for now. You never know if you m might be used weighing... Kind of weird to say. Anyways, um, sending it to South China. Just because you never know what might happen. How is the fleet doing, you might ask? Well, we've produced two relatively okay-ish battleships. They're not great, but they exist. And we actually have three task forces now, so that's not too bad. That really isn't too bad. Now, right now, just make as many... Gu Brazil? Okay, Brazil, well, all right, well, you do you. We're going to start running out of artillery as well. So, that being said, we're going to have to manually control how we're going to attack um, Russia. That'll be very, very important. Go ahead and start building up some infrastructure in these really terrible locations. Because we are mostly just building up infrastructure everywhere else. And... It's okay. Radar? Perhaps we could use... Uh, we can't. We don't have the next best level of radar yet. That's okay. Build some. Really, keep building up your infrastructure. And build one another nuclear reactor. That'll be important. Because I will nuke Japan before we're done. Uh, you guys can probably attack here. Send half of you guys up there. Small coordinated attacks are important. Especially against a single division. That's not bad. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. Good. Ah, special forces. Very nice. So we can get more paratroopers and stuff like that. Um, defense and organization or capacity? Out of supply. Well, if we're using paratroopers, we probably want to get out of supply, so... Let's do that. Expand the special forces. Um, is there anywhere really we could attack? We might be able to win here if we can. Good. Oh, we're getting attacked over here, which is fine with me. Minus 40,000 guns isn't ideal. Minus 600 pieces of artillery really isn't ideal either. Cut this down then by a little bit. That'll maybe save just a shave just a little bit off of there. Not much. Support equipment requirements are down. You guys come this way. You can definitely win there. I'd be very surprised if, you, if they weren't able to. We do have air superiority, which is nice. Good. Let them crash and burn. Immediately attack this way. All five divisions can attack that way, too. Um, you just abandoned the line. That really isn't ideal, man. That really isn't ideal. I'd like to move around here. I'd like to encircle all these divisions over here. Oh, Uruguay was annexed. All right, then. Can I send, like, three divisions to attack here, maybe? I kind of doubt it. Yeah, but you know what? You never know. Good. Uh-oh. It's lagging very hard, which means something is going on. It was lagging unusually hard. Anything happen over here? No? Alright. Spain has just gone to town on the Third International. Alright, not much has happened. Um, Uruguay basically still exists. Oh, wait, hold on. Are they a puppet now? They might. Yep, they're a Brazilian puppet. That's what was la lagging the game just a wee bit. Good, you're doing alright. Oh, there goes SRI. The Socialist Republic of Italy has fallen. That is not good. Oh, that's not good either. I doubt two divisions could really win here, so don't attack. I didn't realize it was just a massive lake there holding us back. Cool, attack. How much manpower do they have? I'm sure they're getting more man 
power, maybe? Maybe not. Okay, maybe not. Good, 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 good. You guys are holding. That's very nice. Very good. And my apologies, my cat was clawing the carpet outside and he wanted some attention. Binky! Come on, man. Don't ruin the carpet. That's expensive. Uh, cool. Thank you guys. Send half of the Mountaineers this way as well. Ooh, Zang, do you have anything for us? No, of course not. Why would you? Come on, please, Wen. How many divisions are over there? Two? And we have air superiority. Paraguay was annexed. Send more divisions that way, and then send you this way as well. Good. Come on. Hopefully we win there. I hope. Um, next up, you guys. Except we for you. You might win here. Maybe, maybe not. You maybe. You might. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see what happens. You guys are moving around because there's a lake. Uh, I don't know why the, the why is the lion reforming itself so much. Ooh, supplies really bad up here. Ooh, Merrill's Marauders. One of the American advisors that fled with Stillwell, Frank Merrill, has earned a name for himself teaching our troops guerrilla warfare skills. A veteran of the Battle of Pine Barrens in southern New Jersey, Merrill is a top-notch general. Several Zeely advisors have suggested promoting him from advisor to a fully-fledged general, even as the anti-concessionist press has lauded his skill at training troops. Now that's interesting. Huh. In the last episode, we did choose to return into Chinese lands. No. But we chose to get Joseph Stillwell to guide us in this conflict against enemies. Very good. Very good. Alright. Alright, keep doing that. Maybe we can attack over here, perhaps? Yes? Oh no. Oh, Germany, East Asia, please. I need those resources so badly. Ah, nuclear bombs! Very good! What else could we produce? Ah, medium tanks. Those would be... Kind, that's kind of important to make tanks. Just a little bit, though. Just a little bit important. Um, I don't want to attack over river, so send three of you guys here, and then send all you guys here, and then send half of you guys this way as well. Good, good, good. Ah, very nice, very nice. They're not super strong. I think they've taken a lot of hits. From, en from us and the Third International, so they really don't have any extra strength to spare. They've lost 3.77 million. Wow. Thank God for the Third International. And them dying. Thank the Lord. Thank Puyi. Yi. Now we probably... Yeah, we won't be able to win over there. I just noticed that there was a river over here. Um, let's take all but you. Attack that way. Then take all but you... Attack that way. Come on. Just go ahead and just beat him up if you can. Help shorten the line. That's good. Alright. Anywhere else? Mongolia. I would really like Mongolia all under us. Uh, you know what? I will do that. I need some more goods. I really do. Let's let time go on a little bit more. Keep an eye on what's going on in Europe. Maybe the Americas as well. Yeah, the American United States is probably going to take over all of um, North America. Canada isn't feeling too well. Cold weather training, huh? There's no amount of training that can stop the American bear? Is it American bear? Come on, come on. How many divisions they got here? Two? Ah, under Victor. Very experienced general. Yeah, I don't understand how he's holding us off with air support and so... They might be 40 combat with divisions, maybe? Perhaps, maybe? Go ahead and build more air bases up here. That'll be important. And continue to build them on the front... Close to the front lines. Maybe not on the front lines, but close to the front lines. That'll be good. That'll be good. Outer Manchuria-ish area. 
That'll be good. Yeah, I don't understand how we're not... Oh, they're attacking Upper River. That's why. Give them no peace. Give them no quarter. They deserve none. Good, good, good. Alright, we still don't have a lot of resources. Our deficit of guns is slowly, 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 slowly going down. Good, you should be able to win there. Next up, can we attack here? Alright. Can you take one division that's not very organized? Attack here. Alright, very nice, very nice. You five should be able to win right there. Take half of you. Good. Um, there's really not a lot of places where we can attack and be super successful. It's really, really unfortunate. It's going to be a slow grind fighting through this war in Asia. Never fight a land war in Asia unless you got tanks and I don't have tanks. Oh. And like normal, Japan has invaded Korea and, well, they're not having a good time. The Koreans know how to take out the Japanese. Which is nice. This is very, very nice. Um, I would like to make an encirclement. I really don't think it's possible down here. Yeah, it's really not a, not possible. Did you get a, can we do that, maybe? Perhaps? From three different angles, everyone's attacking from over a river. No, it doesn't look like we'll be able to. That's crap, man. That's just garbage. Come on. Russia, give it up. If that's the case, go ahead and terminate with extreme prejudice over here. Yeah, no. Yeah, we're still losing. Holy cow. They're not that strong. They really aren't. I'm not going to stop it. I want them to keep fighting until either we die or they're dead. Um, any other, Anywhere else I can really expand? I mean, over time, I'm going to build all this stuff up anyways. Southeast Asia. India, I will leave India for last because probably not going to keep a lot of India. There's really no point to. You okay, me? Oops. It's fine. That's okay. Ah, here we go. This looks okay ish to attack. Come on. Come on. Oh, the number went down there a little bit. That's not good. Um, keep up the attacks. Don't send everyone over. Hold on by a single division. Russia. You haven't lost that much more to us yet. Unfortunate. Yes, I know. Guns. Artillery is going down. That's we got to keep an eye on artillery. Hmm. This is probably a bad idea to attack over a river, but we could find big success. Oh, yeah, good. Big success. Big success. Big, big win. You okay, Bink? Uh, do we have any extra spare planes? We got plenty, plenty of fighters. Holy cow, plenty of fighters. I need more bombers, actually, than fighters. Throw you to just another 200 somewhere. It doesn't really matter. Throw them right there. Let's throw off some of these fighters. Yeah, fighters are great, but I have a, quite a few of them. Throw you right there, actually. I wish I could trade with Spain, though, on land. That would be quite ideal. Uh-oh. Quite a bit of lag. Ah, These land wars, man. Good. I don't know if we'll be able to win here, though. Keep one division here, though. Um, maybe... Maybe not. Oh, we're not winning yet. Yeah, they're, they're extremely tanky. Come on, Russia. Do something against me.
let's throw on another 100 bombers here. Just for this area. Because I want to take this area out. This is annoying. It's very, very annoying. All seven of you. Now, they are, ta they are in mountains, but... This is honestly getting to become a little bit ridiculous. Alright, we need other places to attack. You attack here. Make sure they're all weak. They're extremely weak. Uh, I doubt we can attack there and be successful. We'll see what happens. Hey, maybe. Keep them distracted here. If we can move over here, we might be able to do a really long range encirclement. Ooh, actually be yeah, there's so many rivers and mounds around here. Oh, so bad. So bad. Next up. Alright. Good, good, good. Alright. Let's see. You might be able to win here if we send three divisions from the south and then two divisions from here. Um, we really need this tile. It looks like there's a river here which really isn't conducted to our needs. Get some mechanized, finally. Just massive rivers everywhere. Come on. You guys can win there. That's good. Uh, can you attack here and win? That's a good question. Slowly push up. Slowly but surely push up. Good. All of you attack here. All but you will help attack here as well. Um, we're going to attack here next. If possible. All without you. That would be good. I like the green. The green is good. Um, send half of you to help out down here. Yeah, they want to throw in more divisions, so will I. Oh, good, yeah, throw in those militia divisions. Yeah, they're super strong, guys. Throw them in. Awesome. Uh, they're actually holding the 3rd International pretty darn well on the border here. That's, that's good. That's really good for us. Good. Awesome. Oh, look, we can actually see their divisions a little bit. We have a radar station over here. Nice. We can actually see how many garbage divisions they have. That's actually kind of... That's actually really helpful, actually. You okay, Bink? Good. Ruin that division. 68. Go down. 63% strength. Awesome. Come on. Come on, Bink. What about here? No. Over here. Barnu? Barno? We're getting navally invaded again, but what else is new? Um, I want to attack here, but we don't have enough divisions. It's really over here that we're finding some success in the western portions. Ah, better radar, good. Go for the next level of better radar, too. Immediately do that. We need more range. Do that over here as well. Did they? What the heck? That looks really weird. Good. Oh, they actually took a good chunk of Busan. Oh, that's quite unfortunate. I'm not going to move this group, but I will move all of you. Well, I'm glad I kept you guys here. I'm surprised you actually were able to do this. So, I'll rush down to the border. Uh, that's why I have these ten divisions here. Which means this will become weaker over here, but still three divisions isn't bad. That's really unfortunate. Quite unfortunate. They took Seoul, but as long as they don't get Pyongyang, that's what matters. Good. Push them out. Push them out. These Russians have to die. They were born to die. For us. Against us. For us. Against us. Oh, we're not going to win there. Well, no, keep causing casualties. I don't really care what happens. I need them dead. Come on. Get rid of them. You should be able to win this battle. There's no excuse for that. Um, right here. 
should help out. Good. Happy 1946. Yes, we're still at war in 1946 because Russia, well, she's too big. She needs to be taken down quite a few notches. Attack there with you that way and with you going that way too. Get around these stupid lakes. These lakes are garbage. Garbage lakes. Take half. Attack that way. Take half of you guys. Attack that way too. You should be able to win. Come on, motorized. You should be down there. Yep, you are down there. You're getting attacked like crazy. Not ideal, but you know, whatever. I'm going to make these 40 combo with motorized division so they, they, so that the enemy cannot really bust through these guys. More, uh, that actually will require more artillery, if anything. Motorized. We're not going to put that much artillery on these guys. Just because I don't have a ton of spare artillery right now. Good. Yeah, we really don't. We have a small deficit, actually. If anything. Good. Uh, motorized, we got plenty of motorized. So that's why I did it like this. And then they're going to keep attacking my line because they're going to die, 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 die. Good. Build a couple forts in Pyongyang. That'd be good. Come on, Russia. Do something. Oh, we actually took the towel. Nice. Good job, guys. Artillery-wise. Why are we lacking so much artillery? That makes that doesn't make too much sense. Where are we using all this artillery? We're not really producing that many more divisions. Hmm. Oh, that'd be good to build up there, too. Uh, I'm not going to attack there. <sighs> They're really stretching out my line. I really wish the Third International could have not capitulated that quickly and could have actually continued to kill off the Russians. That would have been really good. Good. Kill them off. Kill them off. Mm, we really don't need more fuel or rubber. That's okay. What about... Yeah. I need more military factories so I can build up more artillery. Do it right there. Do it right there. Good. More military factories as well. Um, guys, where the heck are you? Hurry up, get down here. You have to move faster than that. Come on. And you guys are probably using your base here too. Cool. We're getting navally invaded somewhere else. Not really sure where. How how are you winning against us? Oh, you have no, you're led by some guy. Holy cow! You know what, Korea? I you I can't trust you with your divisions. They're not very good, I guess. Cool. Do that. Requisition all their soldiers. Throw you on here. Um, we to blow the line. Just don't lose Pyongyang. We'll be okay. Hold requisition. What do we even pick up? Uh, ooh, we can use the American commander here, Joseph Stilwell, urban assault specialist. Uh, oh, Frank Merrill. You seem like a, I've never seen that guy before. Awesome. Yeah, go ahead and do that. Just kind of hold him in there. Reinforcements, please don't kill yourselves on the line. It makes no sense for you two. Good. Russia. Russia. Attack me. Do something. Just stop sitting there. Man, come on. Come on. Delete that d division. Actually, don't delete it. I want that militia, militia division still alive because it makes it so much nicer when we uh, so they when they have to refill the manpower in that division because they're pretty weak. We should be able to take this tile. We should be able to. I don't care if it's over river or not. These aren't like super forty combat with divisions, probably, or they might be actually. Yeah, they're probably forty combat with divisions. Yeah, that's un that's really unfair. If that's the case. You know what? I'm not going to attack then. I'm going to build up my resources. I'll kick Japan out. Ooh. Oh, uh, sure. Why not? I'll let you in. You know what? If that's the case, I'm going to... We're going to have a massive deficit now. We're going to have a huge deficit. If Russia wants to play with 40 combat with divisions, and this is going to ruin supply, then you know what? So be it. We'll play right along with them. And you know what? We might... Ruin the supply in every tile we're in. And that's okay. 
Go ahead and do that. We don't need you as much. We don't need you. We honestly don't need this many divisions then. So that'll be good. Uh, cut down to one. That'd be fine with me. So we need a crud ton of guns now. And what else do we need? Motorized. Yeah, China, we're just lacking a lot of stuff. Holy cow, we're just lacking so much stuff. Why? 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 Why are you attacking? It makes no sense. Where are my divisions? This doesn't make any sense. But then again, it is pretty laggy in this game right now, so. And I kind of figured it'd be pretty laggy. And a little difficult to take out um, these guys. But you know what I hate? Stop guarding this. Holy crap, do not move. Stop causing unnecessary casualties. Starting to make me a little pissed off. It's just like, why do you keep killing yourselves on the line? If anything, just guard Pyongyang. Oh, do you have a, an upgrade? Nope, good. Let our guys get used to everything. I really don't care if supply is bad. So, I am not going to attack. So, with that in mind, I'm going to play this off screen once again. And then I will, and you will, and we will rejoin together once I have believed I have successfully pushed or the enemy back just a little bit. So, with that in mind, guys, thank you very much for watching this episode. Leave a like if you liked it, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you all tomorrow as the world might look radically different in the next video. Thanks for watching, have a great day.